Well, the, the yeah. follow-on uh, argument or the second uh, factor in hypertrophy is is they'll point to time under tension, uh, but you can't have time under tension outside of load productively, right? Because how are you going to produce? So, so this twenty reps is a perfect example. Up until rep, what are you actually grinding through the reps? Is it rep fifteen? Is it rep seventeen? Is it rep eighteen? It can't be twenty reps. Like in other no. words, you don't have twenty productive reps in terms of time under tension. No, there's no the fucking first way. ten reps. Because you would one, two, yeah, because you wouldn't be able to. Because it's it. a light weight. Exactly, exactly. So it's light weight. You couldn't do twenty of them. Yeah, so you can back into the argument even that way. What what is the sweet spot if you if you want to talk about something like t- time under tension? What's the sweet spot where you balance load? And how long you can a- you can actually push on a fucking bar? Right. And it's 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 five reps. Five you know, reps. It's four four to six reps. Whatever. Four to six. There. Five reps is the magic mm-hmm. number. Yeah, it, it always has been the magic exactly. number. Exactly. It's exactly and right. And that's why we use it because we have looked at this problem. You know, I'm not going to publish a paper about this because why would I? Yep. Why do I need to publish a paper about this? If you want to know what I know, you ask me. Or you read my book, in which all of this shit's been written down. Okay? Yep. You, 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 I don't need to prove that I'm right because the phenomenology already has. Everybody that's done it our way has gotten bigger and stronger. Right. Yeah, and if you're going you know? to use, use a set of 8 or a set of 12 to try to get bigger muscles, the load that it would require is not something that you can even handle. That, that's fundamentally the point, right? You're not yes. you're not strong enough for those rep ranges to be productive for you. If um, you <clears throat> are squatting six plates, so you're squatting five eighty five for a set of five, having got there with fives. Now you want to you decide you want to see if this hypertrophy shit works. You back off to five plates to four ninety five and do sets of ten with it. I don't. I still don't think that what you're going to find is that that's productive. I don't think you're going to find that's productive. It's probably. It's ultimately more of a stress management deal. Training heavy, you right. know, Without, without the load fucking you up when you're that strong. Because mm-hmm. because you got to train. If you're a bodybuilder, how often you have to train? Every fucking day. Yeah, pretty much. You got to train every pretty day. much every day. And <clears throat> if you're going to train every day, you've got to have some help with your stress management. Right. And. Boys and girls, anybody whose picture you have seen in a magazine with ripped 36-inch thighs <laughs> they're much stronger. Than a you. lot of help. Yeah, and they're much stronger. Than and you. they're much stronger than you are. This is a weird thing I hear all they're the time. They're handling heavier weights than you are. Exactly. This is a weird thing I hear all the time where people will say, like you'll bring up a, a body, you know, you'll talk about a bodybuilder and how big they are, and they'll say, "Well, they're not as strong as they're not as strong as, as a powerlifter, or they're not like they're not really strong." You, you well, don't, no, you that's don't, not true. You don't know any bodybuilders. Like, ar- go arm wrestle a bodybuilder. Yeah. See how it goes for you. <clears throat> no, you know? those guys are. No, they're fucking they're, strong. If they're big, they're strong. If if a dude has twenty four inch don't arms, have, but muscles are not made of air. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. If you've got twenty four you know, inch arms and and twelve percent body fat. Uh, you're fucking strong. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I mean when that's, uh, that's when bodybuilding went from that classic look to those mass monsters, have you seen those guys train before? The weights they're throwing around? They're, they're, it's, they're it's big, strong fucking guys. It's unbelievable. You know? <clears throat> so what ends up happening is the kids, <laughs> usually, usually the hypertrophy, so people will tell me I'm doing hypertrophy, usually it's in the context of a cut, which I'm also in a hypertrophy make, phase. I'm in a hypertrophy, or I want to do some hypertrophy training, right, uh, for aesthetics. But usually it's in the, it, it's like the second part of that is because I'm doing a cut. Mm-hmm. So you're right. doing a cut to do a thing that's supposed to gain size. Right. Those, those are contradictory you can't concepts. can't do those you two do things, things at the same time. So what you're telling me is it that you want to do lighter weights for higher reps while you're not eating to, to grow, which is right. do whatever you want, but you're not yeah, doing you hypertrophy. You have fun, but you're not going to get big and strong. You're eating fewer calories and less protein, lifting lighter weights. That's not how it works. And everybody seems to think that it does work that way, and I'm just not I, – I, I, have never observed that to be the case. Well, people have equated rep ranges with hypertrophy. Mm-hmm. 
Yes. So hypertrophy equals rep range. Eight not, to twelve reps is hypertrophy. Not size, not muscle size. The other so, the other gym that I go to, there's a group of teenagers, and you know they worship these guys on TikTok that are, you know, got steroids coming out of their fucking ears, and they're ripped and huge all the time, and they're doing insane amounts of weight for more reps than they can do than that these kids can do. Sure. And they're all in the back room with their shirts off, weighing about 155 pounds at 5'9", just flexing as hard as they can <laughs> with their with their tripods out, right? They they have looked you know, the same they have looked the same for 6 months d- and because they're not wanting to get bigger. They just you, want to be shredded. Do you know how long this has been going on? Forever. <laughs> yeah, forever. For sure. <clears throat> this has been going on for 70 years. Yeah. It's been going on since the invention of photography. Yeah. It's not right. new, but now you have the science to back it right. up. Right. Now the there's the science. <laughs> now it's evidence Peer reviewed <laughs> journals have said. Because before it was just is, like, what is that guy doing? That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Right? <laughs> hey, guys, join us next time for Starting Strength Radio. We will start things off with our normal installment of comments from the haters. My favorite section of the show, without, without doubt. And then we're going to revisit our previous topic we've dealt with kind of recently we're talking about hypertrophy what it is what it's not and how it's done all right and if you're just dying to be bigger and stronger you're not going to want to miss this terribly important installment of starting strength radio we'll see you there